What's up guys, my name is Samir Muhammad, and in this video, I'm going to go over Power Automate RPA licensing. If you were to watch just one video, just one, to get a full understanding of RPA licensing, then look no further. This is the one. Licensing in itself is a little complicated, and this video will make RPA licensing easy for you. Every RPA client that we speak with has the same question, what does Microsoft RP licensing cost. And here I am finally making a video out of it. In this video, I go over the base licensing plans of Power Automate with focus only on RPA compatible plans. I'll explain to you what attended versus unattended RPA means, their plans, and what to expect. And finally, I'll cover licensing for Power Automate desktop for Windows. Microsoft has spread information across several lengthy documents. So at the end of both attended and unattended sections, I have slides with consolidated info so that you can see the final numbers of what it's gonna cost you. If you want to see Power Automate RPA in action, check out my other videos in the description below, demoing some real world RPA automation that we have done. If you see value in this video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like and click on the bell icon. Also, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll try getting back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. So here are the Power Automate base licensing plans. The first one is licensed for user and the second one is licensed by user with attended RPA. And the third one is licensed by the flow. So there's no support for RPA in the first plan. So you have to go with the second plan, which is the $40 plan. But what you get out of this is going to be an attended RPA. So basically with this plan, you can have Power Automate web flows plus attended RPA. Also attended RPA includes 5,000 AI builder service credits per month. Finally, there is the limited time offer uh, going on for this $40 plan. Till June 38, 2022, it's going to be $15 per user per plan. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what does attended versus unattended mean? Attended, basically, attended RPA means that the user is logged into the machine and that's when the RPA kickstarts on the user's workstation. Unattended RPA means that the user is not even logged into the workstation and the RPA kickstarts by itself and it could be on the user's machine or on a remote machine. Finally, the manual processing, and if you are processing all those hundreds of invoices manually, then you might want to recommend RPA technology to management and shift your responsibility to higher functions. So now let's go back to the same three plans and dig into the details. Here I'm just focusing only on the RPA section. There might be more details of this plan and I've stripped that out. So process mining, this is the process advisor and you can use this to identify what are the repetitive processes in your organization. You can use, you can see that this is included with both the per user plan uh, with and without the RPA. Uh, down at the bottom over here, cloud flows, business flows are all part of all the three plans. But if you come down at the bottom over here, this is where you start seeing the details. Attended RPA is basically part of only the second plan, the $40 plan. And if you want to run unattended RPA, then it's going to be for both the two plans, for the second and the third plan, the $50, the, I'm sorry, the $40 plan and the $500 plan. For both of these two, it's going to be additional money. And we're going to see that in a second. So here's the final cost for the attended RPA for one bot running concurrently with the user on the same workstation and executing one or several desktop flows. Yes, you can run multiple desktop flows from the same bot, but they must be serialized and not sequential. So $40 per user per bot per month. With that being said, now let's talk about the pricing for Power Automate unattended RPA. So right off the bat, if you want to add this unattended RPA to the base plans, to the two base plans that we have just seen, it's going to be $100, $150 per bot per month. This add-on allows RPA to run autonomously that is independent of a user. 
As I mentioned before, unattended bots can be deployed on a local or remote desktop or other virtualized environments. The Power Automate per user with attended RPA, the $40 plan. And so let me just go back for a second over here. So the $40 plan and the $500 plan. So both these two plans are eligible base plans for the attended RPA. Note the Power Automate unattended RPA add-on is licensed by the bot, if I didn't say that before. And also, if you have concurrent, if you're running concurrent instances of a single process, on, even on the same machine, that's going to require an additional unattended bot for each instance. So multiple unattended RPA add-ons can be applied against a qualifying base plan. Now let's look at the unattended Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise licensing. If you're running the unattended RPA and creating, editing, or saving documents, you will need to have a Microsoft 365 unattended licensing plan. If not, the account will run with limited functionality. The unattended process can open and print existing documents in Office apps, but it can create new documents or edit or save existing documents, in which case the license required for unattended use message will appear on the Office ribbon. And the cost of this unattended license, as you can see, is $32 per license per month. So here's the most important slide for you to understand unattended licensing. For licensing per user for one bot with more one or multiple desktop flows running in sequential order, for one user, the cost is $190 per month without the unattended Microsoft 365 enterprise licensing. And if you want to have that unattended Microsoft 365 licensing, then it's going to be, you know, $222 per, per user per month. So for licensing by flow for one bot, with one or multiple desktop flow running in sequential order, the cost is $650 per month without attended Microsoft 365 licensing and $680 per month with attended licensing. And of course, it's $32 per license per month. Now let's talk about the Power Automate desktop tool licensing in itself. Uh, so as you can see, it's part of the Windows 10 Pro. Okay, you can just download it and use it for free. If you have Windows 11, it's built within it. So let me go ahead and just show that to you real fast. So I type in Power Automate. And there it is. So that's the, the Power Automate desktop tool installed on my Windows 11. As you can see here, the Power Automate attended desktop flow is the only thing that I can run here via the Power Automate desktop. That's all I can run. And then you get some basic reporting over here and that's all you get. You can use the Power Automate desktop tool even without any kind of Power Automate licensing. Don't expect these workflows to auto schedule and then fire up and do things. Yes, you can build up a crazy workflow to do complex things with the Power Automate desktop tool, but you have to run it manually. So finally, a quick line on soft automotive products. Microsoft announced the end of the support on December 31st, 2021. If you were using Win Automation or Process Robot, both of them were products of soft automotive, you might want to stop um, using it and consider moving over to, my, uh, to uh, Power Automate.